Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex Risto here. This is the first video that I will be making of a review of technology. I've never done something like this. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm not really the best at this, but I just want to explain my experience so far with my new laptop. This new laptop that I have is the M4 Pro Max 14 inch, two terabytes, 64 gigabytes of RAM, unified RAM, whatever that means. Um, I did not get the nano texture display and I went with the space black. I wanna dive right into why I purchased this and what it means sort of to me as an editor. I'm trying to grow my own videography, photography business and um, it's the next step uh, really to just have a machine that can really do it all. I've been a gamer my entire life so I have a PC and I've been familiar with Windows and everything and I love it but it just doesn't get the job done as well as Mac um, when it comes to editing. So let's dive right into the title of this video, DaVinci Resolve Denoise on the M4 Pro Max 64 gigs of RAM. So I have some sample footage here. I, I'd just like to show you guys how well it performs. My computer, my PC has an Intel i9 9900K 4060 RT, or 4070 RTX, um, 64 gigs of RAM. It's like a tank but it cannot play denoise footage. So let me just show you guys what it's like on a Mac, on the new M4 Pro to play this. So I'm gonna switch over to full resolution playback. So we're gonna do the playback test. We're gonna go ahead and play it. So as you guys can see, it is pretty laggy in full, right? Seven frames per second, which is still better than my PC. Just letting you guys know that, still better. Now we're gonna go to half. So half, plays pretty well. And this is a pretty stacked node structure, guys. Like, this is pretty heavy. And half is playing at 24 FPS, basically. It's a little red, it's dropping frames a little bit, but it's still a powerhouse. My Mac right now is not plugged into anything. It is just standing alone on this table, perfectly fine. Um, and it's playing it significantly well. And like, this isn't the only reason I bought this, but the fact that I'm able to do this, and, and to let you guys know, I have an FX30, so in low light, you know, it's 2500 second base ISO. It's not really the best, but with the right lens, great color grading, I mean, look at this. Look at this image. This was shot on an F4.5 lens at night. Like, there is barely any grain, because if you do a good job, you know you can get rid of it. Now we're gonna go over to quarter. And quarter is the game changer. What I've noticed from Premiere to DaVinci is that quarter resolution on Premiere makes the quality look terrible. It really does. In DaVinci, it, re it really makes it just look sort of normal. Like, if I play this back, it's gonna be perfect. So we're playing it back. And guys, I'm also screen recording. We're getting 23.976 FPS up here, and it's green which means that it's not throttling, it's playing it back perfectly fine. And like, that's just a game changer for me. The fact that I'm able to do everything that I need to do, and you know that the footage is denoised, I mean, let's check out the denoise. The settings that we have for denoise right now are three, better, medium range of motion, Luma is 18.2, 18.2 chroma, then we have it enhanced spatial noise reduction with a small radius, and then our Chrome is set at 8.4. And it's it's handling it like a beast and sharpening's on. So I mean, there's really, like if you guys are at the M1 Pro, uh, if you guys have had that laptop, I really recommend upgrading if you guys are looking into getting a tank of laptop. It's amazing. It's not too hot. Like when I feel it, it's really not hot. It says 104 Celsius, but I don't know how accurate that is. And if you guys wanna watch the actual video of this, um, it's on my channel. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please uh, drop a like and let me know. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.